Welcome to Memphis, full of individuals that you can vibe to. Just don't be a snitch, that's all we ask you. Okay, so in my last story, where I left off, I stopped going to college in my house and I had my own apartment. A two-bedroom apartment for $420 a month. I was a waitress at the time. And I figured as long as I'm making a four to five hundred dollars a week, I should be able to be doing pretty decent. Um, I did that for a while, but I eventually did get a roommate. I got um one of my coworkers. She was looking for a place to stay. I was I was twenty at the time, and she was nineteen. I was 20, she was 19. She had an 18 year old boyfriend and they hung out with 17 year olds. One of the 17 year old had a 16 year old girlfriend. Um, I had my own set of friends, my own group of friends, the bench crew. And she had her group of friends. Sometimes my friends will sleep over. Sometimes her friends will sleep over. Sometimes we were in a, intermingled, but for the most part, we hung out with our own set of friends. So one day or one morning, I was sleeping and she had her friends over. Her friends, they had stayed over two nights at that point. And this was the second night of them staying over. I hear a knock on the door and her friends were sleeping in the living room. So I just, you know, I kind of went back to sleep. I said, you know, they'll handle that. They'll take care of it. And if they need anything, they'll get my roommate. So I kind of go back to sleep. Then my door opens. There's two policemen at the door. They say, ma'am, we need you to come out here. I said, can I put my clothes on? <laughs> And I look over at my nightstand and I see my 420 pipe just laying there. I'm like, oh gosh, the police are there. My pipe is here. I'm naked in bed and they want me to come out. All right. <laughs> and I'm scared out of my mind. They let me put my clothes on and I come out to the living room. The living room is, was empty at this point. There's no one in the, in the living room. I said, what's going on? They said, ma'am, we need to detain you. I said, what? Why? And one of the cops pulls out this picture of the 16-year-old girl. He said that the mother of the 16-year-old saw, saw her go in and out of my apartment and wanted me charged for kidnapping because apparently this 16-year-old girl had ran away from home. Um, a few apartments down, there was a friend of the bench crew and one of my friends, Jonathan, who was in the bench crew, he was staying over at the apartment. He saw what was going on and he came out and he talked to the police and he convinced the, the police that we all, we had our, each had our separate friend group and that I had nothing to do with that. So if it wasn't for him, I would have got arrested for kidnapping. And the cops, they let me go. Um, but the apartments found out about the whole commotion. And I got evicted. And I also got charged with possession for that weed pipe or the 420 pipe. But that eventually got cleared off my record. After that, after I got evicted, um, my friend Jonathan and his girlfriend Emma, they had a two-bedroom apartment. They already had a roommate. So... They offered, uh, they offered uh, that I can sleep on the couch for a hundred dollars a month, and that was a pretty cool situation. 
I don't think their roommate liked me that much. He was kind of a, a bit of a snob. <laughs> um, Jonathan and Emma, they were very respectful. Whenever they were in their room, I didn't hear anything. I knew they were having, you know, a time, an awesome time together, but I never heard anything. Meanwhile, the roommate, whenever he brought a girl over, it was all, you know, noises. He was annoying. But I still had a really good time with them. Eventually, John and Emma, they wanted to get their own place and do their own thing. And they actually, they wanted to move away from the city. So we all dispersed. Um, we all had to move away. But that's the story of how I was almost charged with kidnapping. That was nuts. I'm almost done with my hair. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the story. And as usual, I will see y'all in the next video.